While you can use the factory created defaults on the Librem key, it's recommended that you replace the keys with self-generated ones. Boot into PureOS and verify you can access your Librem key with GPG card status. The output should look similar to this. To create a new master key, run GPG full generate key. Default is correct, press enter. 4096 is the best option here. You can enter an expiration date here, and it's a good idea to do so. Zero means it does not expire. Enter your name, and if you plan to use this to sign email, make sure that the email address is correct here. You'll be asked to protect the new key with a passphrase. Set a strong password you'll remember. It should spit out data looking like this. This number here identifies the key we just made. We'll use this ID in a lot of the following commands. Run gpg export, edit key, and the ID from the previous command. At this new prompt, run add key. Selection 4, size 4096. Set the same expiration as the main key. You'll now be prompted for the password you just created. Run add key again, but this time for selection, enter 8, then run S, E, A, and Q. Then set up the max size at 4096 and re-enter your password. Set the highest trust level. Running save should exit the prompt. Now we need to make a backup of all of the keys we just created. Running lsblk, I can see my Librem vault is mounted under media purism USB disk. CD to that folder and create a directory called keys. Enter that folder and run gpg output revoke asc gen revoke and your ID. This will allow you to revoke your key in case it ever gets compromised. Now export your secret key. Next export your secret subkeys. And finally your public key. This will be used to set up the BIOS in just a minute. It's also helpful to make a full backup. Restoring this directory will allow you to reset up the Librem key in the way we're covering here. Next, let's erase the Librem key by running gpg card edit. Running admin enables administrative commands. Factory reset will reset the user's pin to 123456, the admin pin to 12345678, as well as delete any stored keys. Great, we'll exit the prompt. To load your new keys, run gpg edit key and your key ID. Next, run key1. This selects the first key. Key to card moves the key off the computer and onto the Librem key. Enter 2 for encryption. You'll be asked for the password you set up earlier. Then you'll be asked for the admin pin on the Librem key. This should still be 12345678. Now run key1 again to deselect the key. Enter key2 and rerun the key to card command. This time enter 1 for a signature key and re enter your password like before. Now run key2 to deselect that key. You'll need to move the third key in the same manner. Enter key3, then key to card. Enter 3 for authentication key and re enter your passwords. The default pins are easily guessable and now is a good time to reset them. Run gpg card edit, enable admin commands, run passwd and then enter 1 to edit the user pin. This pin needs to be at least 6 characters long. Enter 3 to change the admin pin. This one will need to be at least 8 characters long. When done, exit with the quit command. With that, your Librem key is set up and you have a backup of your keys. Next, we need to tell your BIOS that this new public key is to be trusted. Restart the system and at the Peer Boot menu, select Options, GPG Options, Add GPG Key to Running BIOS plus Reflash. Select Yes and then find the option Media Keys Public Key to ASC. This will take about a minute to complete. Go ahead and re-sign slash boot. Enter a Y. Now enter your user pin. On the next boot, you'll see an error that heads couldn't generate a TOTP code. Select generate new HOTP slash TOTP secret. With that, your Librem key is paired with your computer. Make sure to store your Librem vault somewhere safe. Keep in mind that you can force the OS to boot even if you lose or mess up your key. Simply go to Options, Boot Options, and ignore tampering and force boot. You can reset your Librem key to factory-like settings where the only copy of your private key lives on your Librem key itself by selecting GPG Options, Generate GPG Key Manually on a USB Security Token. You'll be asked to enter a few commands like Admin and Generate, but the process is very automated. Find out more about the Librem line of products at puri.sm.